Hey what's going on guys, Daniel from ModBot here and in today's video I'm going to take you guys along with me on my journey of installing a BL Touch into my Ender 3. Uh, this is something that I have never done before, I've only used proximity sensors and I really wanted to install this on my Ender 3 and it took me a good part of a Saturday so I figured that I would show you what went into it and hopefully by doing so uh, and some of the things that I've done to make it a little bit easier for you this will save you a hell of a lot of time if it's something you decide to do. So as a prereq, you need to make sure you flash a bootloader or burn a bootloader to your Ender 3. I made a video that shows you exactly how to do this, and I will place a link in the description to that video. So other than that, you need to start off with printing a mount out for the BL Touch. I did find a mount online that was pretty good. It was for the CR10, um, but I did have to extend one of the pieces on that part a little bit. So I took the file in a mesh mixer and remixed it and now it is ready to go so you won't have to do anything like that. Um, if, I will place a link in the description or all this stuff is also on my website 3D Print Love and you can just download it and print it out. I printed it out in PETG at 40% infill and that seems to have done a great job. I've been using it for the last month and a half now uh, pretty much non-stop and it's worked great. So. The mount fits right in with the existing uh, screws that are already in, so you won't need any screws really, uh, with the exception of two M3 screws to mount the BL Touch to the actual um, mount that you just printed out. But other than that, it's no, no additional hardware is required. So once you've done that, this is the main chunk of the work, is actually wiring the BL Touch to the main board. It took me forever to find a diagram that showed how to wire it. Um, <clears throat> all this stuff, again, if you need to see a close-up of the picture, is on my site. But there is five wires in total for the BL Touch, and two of them, I took the cable for the ZN stop, cut those cables, wired in two out of the five to that, based off of my diagram that's here. Um, then I had to take two more cables from the BL Touch and just basically plug them into, there was two pin, um, two pin slots that they plugged into, which again, all this is on the diagram so you can easily see it. And the fifth one, you actually need to take your ribbon cable and for the uh, LCD screen and the colored ribbon cable on the very end, as you can see here, you actually have to cut the cable and just splice it or if not splice it just cut it and expose some of the wiring and that's where the fifth um, that is where the fifth cable for the BL Touch goes so it's not really difficult to wire at all um, <clears throat> it did require me to extend the BL Touch's cables a bit uh, but this is definitely not like a super beginner mod by any means um, I did do soldering a little bit to clean up some of the wires. Technically, you could just twist the, the wires together, but uh, if you can solder, then I highly recommend doing that. But here's a screenshot showing the uh, two wires that the mouse is over right now. Literally, just plug into the pins on the board right there. Um, the third cable is the one that goes to the LCD cable, which I cut, and the last two are literally just taken from the Z plug. Since you no longer need a Z end stop, since the probe is your Z end stop, you cut those cables and wire those accordingly. And all the colors are laid out in the uh, diagram, so it really shouldn't be too hard to follow. Once you've done that, you need a flash Marlin for Ender 3. Um, you can use, so I was unable to find a pre-compiled Marlin, I mean pre-compiled Ender 3 Marlin file. So I ended up having to take a completely fresh copy of Marlin off of Marlin's GitHub and edit that, which took me forever. So I went ahead and uploaded that um, pre-configured Marlin for the Ender 3 to my Google Drive, which you can then go ahead and download and just flash over. And so hopefully that'll save you a ton of time. It's completely set up for the Ender 3. It has all the offsets for the mount, and you might not even have to actually do much uh, calibration of the Z offset if you just use the values that are in the Marlin uh, firmware that I provide for you guys. Once you've done that, your BL Touch is all ready to be used. Um, you'll have a um, auto level or bed leveling option now on your LCD screen. If you do need to calibrate the Z offset, like if you're printing and you use my, my Marlin that's configured and you see that it's not printing correctly, it's too high, uh, Joe over from 3D Maker Noob actually made a really awesome detailed tutorial on how to calibrate your Z offset. Um, hopefully you won't have to do that if you again you're using the same setup as me but if you do it is a fantastic video that takes you through just about every aspect and more that you'll need to get this up and going uh, use the offset 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the Beal Touch has been working completely just insane on this uh, Ender 3. I've probably printed a hundred or so prints on it and I've not had to do any kind of re-leveling or have had any failed prints. My um, That combined with the build tech, uh PEI sheet I've been using has just been like the dream team. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this is not meant to be a like tutorial per se, at least not a step-by-step, -step, but I'm hoping that by providing the things I did will save you guys a lot of time if this is a mod that you do want to do uh, to your Ender 3. So don't forget to smack the like button and subscribe for more great videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace, guys.